It is making front page headlines. Four East Haven police officers arrested by the FBI facing conspiracy and obstruction of justice charges. And now the mayor of East Haven knee deep in controversy over his reaction to those arrests. Well, now he's apologizing for what he had to say. We begin our team coverage today with News 8's Aaron Cox. She joins us live from Town Hall in East Haven with more. Aaron. Good afternoon, Keith. Mayor Joseph Maturo in his second floor office this afternoon, but not coming out to talk to the many reporters that are here following his comments yesterday. However, within the last half hour, he released a written statement of apology. I will paraphrase from it for you. Mayor Maturo saying he's sorry to the entire East Haven community, but specifically the Latino community for his comment about tacos yesterday. He said he let the stress of the situation get the best of him, and he realizes what he said inflamed an already serious situation. And while he's not talking on camera, he did take to the airwaves this morning. Mayor Joseph Maturo admitting his remark was stupid and insensitive, contrite, but not willing to talk to us on camera, only apologizing on WPLR's Chaz and AJ. And as the leader of the community, I have to apologize for it. If you missed it, this is what Maturo said to a New York TV station Tuesday, interviewing him regarding the arrest of those four police officers. What are you doing for the Latino community today? I might have tacos when I go home. I'm not quite sure yet. That controversial comment not only raising eyebrows in East Haven, but literally across the country. The mayor now saying he's sorry. It, 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 it is a real serious situation. And, and, and thinking about it last night, because I tossed and turned a lot last night, Yeah. thinking, you know, what a dumb, off-the-cuff, stupid remark. In a town still digesting the arrest of four police officers for allegedly profiling Latinos, the taco comment adds insult to injury. Uh, I lived in East Haven a long time, but that remark was out of uh, left field. Like he said, you know, you get asked a stupid question, you give a stupid answer. So um, I don't. I think the whole incident's, uh, you know, embarrassing for the whole town. I just think he goofed up. What well, he said he was gonna go home and have some tacos, but you know, he's a mayor. You know. People are human. Now, before Mayor Maturo issued that written statement of apology, Governor Dana Malloy had something to say about that taco comment. Here's what the governor said about it. He said, quote, the comments by East Haven Mayor Joseph Maturo are repugnant. They represent either a horrible lack of judgment or worse, an underlying insensitivity to our Latino community that is unacceptable. Being tired is no, is no excuse. He owes, he owes an apology to the community, and more importantly, he needs to show what he's going to do to repair the damage he's done, and he needs to do it today. Mayor Joseph Maturo, when I read that governor's statement to him, he said the governor is right, and then within an hour, he issued his own statement of apology. However, this statement is catching controversy not only here in East Haven, not only in Connecticut. We can tell you there are Spanish-speaking television stations here, so this comment has gone international. We're live this afternoon in East Haven. I'm Erin Cox, News 8. Erin, thank you. The mayor of Hartford also reacting to Mayor Maturo's comments. Mayor Pedro Segarra, in a statement this morning, said, in part, quote, I am disgusted by Mayor Maturo's comment as mayor. I stand strongly behind the men and women who protect and serve our city and encourage our residents to work as partners toward the best interests of our communities. That cannot happen if accusations of discrimination are dismissed and disregarded. But again, Mayor Maturo has now apologized.